Now, it will go down in history as one of the most dramatic developments in American politics. With most of the states already tallied, Donald J. Trump is inching closer to becoming the 45th president of the United States. The reality talk show host come businessman Donald Trump has won at least 244 electoral college votes according to the U.S. media projections. Analysts still say it's too early to write off the Democratic opponent Hillary Clinton, but her path to victory is growing dimmer. Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Akisa Wandera. I am Michael Gitonga. And before we just uh, take a look at uh, the, the kind of projections we have, let's head over to the uh, U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Robert Godek. And of course, he's also having an event there regarding the elections. Let's just listen in to what he has to say. But once all the results are in, Americans will recognize and accept the decision reached in a democratic poll. We will welcome our next president and look forward to a bright future. As we stand here together this morning, I'd like to turn for a moment to another election. Next year, Kenyans too will cast their ballots. It will be your second election under your remarkable 2010 constitution, ensuring it is free, fair, peaceful, and credible. It will strengthen Kenya's democracy, deepen prosperity, and advance security. As I've often said, Kenya is a great country, and Kenyans are a great people. I've seen you prove it time and again. I've crisscrossed your beautiful land and spoken with thousands, tens of thousands of people. I've seen the strength, talent, and genius of the hardworking Kenyan people. I've heard your dreams, your plans, your hopes for your country, for your families, and for yourselves. And from all I've seen, I believe this too. Your dreams are within your reach. A successful democratic election will help realize them. But it requires a whole of society commitment, a commitment by all Kenyans to take part in a national dialogue a dialogue about what Kenyans want from their government, a dialogue about how to move your great country forward, a dialogue about how to keep the promise of your 2010 constitution. A successful election, too, requires that all Kenyans come together and take responsibility. Government officials, politicians, business people, religious leaders, civil society representatives, all Kenyans from every walk of life, everyone, should come together and take responsibility to address squarely hard issues such as ending the scourge of corruption and bridging the ethnic divide. Everyone should seek to resolve deep differences through open debate and the ballot. Everyone, no matter their tribe, gender, or party, should utterly reject violence and those who call for violence. All Kenyans should come together to work to realize the possibility of this great country through peaceful dialogue and the vote. As a friend, the United States will help. We're contributing more than two and a half billion Kenya shillings to support your next election. Our assistance will go to strengthening the IEBC, aiding election observers, providing voter education, advancing peace. But while we can help, this will be your election. You alone can choose your leaders. You alone will decide your future. The American Declaration of Independence is a clarion call to democracy. It makes clear that governments derive their just power from the consent of the governed. This is not only an American value. It's a universal value. It's a value that binds us together, Americans and Kenyans. As we mark the American election that just took place, we look forward to the Kenyan election. As Kenyans have stood with us, so we will stand with you. Americans will walk hand in hand with all Kenyans who seek to make your election free, fair, peaceful, and credible. Today, we celebrate the American election. Today, we celebrate democracy, and today, we celebrate the profound friendship between Kenya 
and the United States. A friendship that is founded on our shared belief in the enduring power and the boundless promise of, as Abraham Lincoln said, government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Thank you for joining us today. Pamoja Tisonge and Belly, Asentenisana Kwakufika Hapaleo. Please continue to enjoy the morning and the election results. Thank you.